Now, Kira Dye with Scarf and Look Kamogi. A championship just around the corner, Kira, always an exciting time, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it now. The last few weeks we've put in tough training sessions. I think everyone's kind of buzzing to get out. And last year when we lost out to Ina Fidamona in the semi final, I think we were all very down over it. And I think we couldn't wait to get back this year and hopefully maybe push on from there. That must have been a huge experience to, you know, get to go up against the likes of uh, Ina Fidamona, who have probably dominated in recent years here. Yeah, it is like it was first year up in senior and I think there wasn't much expected of us and then to get out with the group and like isn't we battled so hard in all of our round matches that we had and then when we got to that like we kept with Ina for about 45 50 minutes and then after that like you could see their experience kicked in and then they completely pushed on and for the last 10 minutes they dominated the field but like to stay with them that long and even during the match like there were stages where we were, we were up like so it was really positive to see and hopefully we can just keep getting better and keep producing the same stuff as the years go on. It's been a fantastic journey for Scarf Gunn as a club in recent years, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. With them getting to the junior alignment there a couple of years ago and losing, losing out, like it was obviously very upsetting and disheartening. But like they came, we've come back stronger, and we're just hoping to push on now. And even at underage schools level as well, you've been building kind of quietly, and that has to kind of bubble up to the surface at some stage. Yeah, it does. The the amount of work that went on in school Camogie with Marie Ken Kennelly and Marie Lynch, like people don't realise. And we all bonded so well over in the school and I think we got to play extra matches other than club matches. Like we won a, a few All-Irelands over in the school and Munster Championships and it just re it really benefited us being able to play together in school and getting to know each other more and more. That like I really came back and showed on the field for club. Tell me about the, the group you're in this year. Um, yeah, so we first air Rogue Friday week and then we have our Rogue Newmarket and then Clooney so it is a tough group and we uh, obviously expect it to be a tough group like no team is easy but we're hoping that we are going to be able to um, beat at least two of them maybe three and then get out of the group so we'll have to see how we get on but I'd be hopeful for us anyway. And I suppose you have to kind of carry a bit of confidence into a championship like this because you know you're going up against the, the likes of the new markets of the world and you kind of have to win expecting to beat those kind of teams. Oh yeah, of course. Every match we go out, there is no doubt that we're not going to beat them. We have the mentality that we are, and we are able to. Like the group of players we have, like of the younger girls coming through, like the likes of Aoife Power and the, the Susan and Linda Daly's, like it's exceptional to have all them younger girls coming through on the same team. And there's a lot more younger ones coming up, and like every one of them have the belief that we're able to beat any team we go out in. Like as in playing Ina last year, we we knew that we'd be able to give them a ma good match, and we thought we could have beaten them. We ended up coming short, but we all have the belief going out, and I think that that's a really good thing. And it's not a cockiness, it's just a good confidence that we have going. Great stuff. Well, listen, we wish you the very best of luck in the campaign ahead. Thank you very much.